Exactly one year ago, I received numerous gifts from family and friends. My workplace even bought a cake for me and a special present which they knew I'd wanted. The reason for that, of course, was that it was my birthday. And not just any birthday. I had turned 30. One year later, and the birthday love did return, but nowhere near as much as the last time. Was I of less value this year? Was 2015 just a good year for presents? Surely it wasn't because of instead of that beautiful round 30, I was now that odd 31. What makes 30 more special than 31? Why is it I'll probably celebrate my 40th with a big party, but not my 39th? Well, that's easy, you say. They're all multiples of 10, and as we know, it's not only easy to count in 10s, but each additional 10 signifies the beginning of a new decade. We'd probably celebrate hundreds with the same gusto too, but that's not something that happens too often. Tens almost seem to be the perfect unit, the cleanest and most logical way to count. But that's because the counting you're used to has been designed around the number 10. We call it the base 10 system, or the decimal system, named after the prefix for 10. But there's no reason why it has to be that number. There's nothing intrinsic about the number 10 that makes it easier to handle than, say, 9 or 17. But you could say, well, 10, 20, 30 is a lot easier than 9, 18, 27, or, or indeed 17, 34, and 51. But that's because you're still using the base 10 system. If you use the base 17 system, you might have 17 unique numbers. 13 wouldn't be a 1 and a 3, but its own single number. Represented by a symbol someone would need to make up. And before you start thinking that's crazy talk, there's already another base 26 system you're using. The alphabet. But say what I like, 10 is the magic number we use today and its fingerprints are seen everywhere. We talk about fashion in the 30s or the 70s and the bank notes that I have or wish that I have in my wallet are 10s, 20s and 50s. But the significance of 10 occasionally seems to transcend decimal convenience. In the Bible, for example, God gave the Israelites 10 commandments and will later instruct them to give a tenth of what they harvested to the temple. And here's something else. If you add the first four positive integers up, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, they equal 10. Which explains why 10 points arranged as such make up a triangle, and why we have 10-pin bowling. The attraction we have for 10s occasionally seems to go beyond logic. Many people report on having a compulsion to set the volume of their TV at a multiple of 10 or 5. This might possibly describe you. Even if the perfect loudness you want is at 19, you would much rather see the volume set to 20. Tens, sure, we've just seen why the decimal system favours that, but why fives? Well, two fives make ten, you say, and fair enough. Those are the only other factors of ten besides one in itself. But apart from that, what else does five have going for it? It's not an even number. It doesn't split into any groups evenly. Yet my wife is convinced that 5 should be considered an even number because of its quote, roundness. And true enough, even though I'll never find a happy 31st birthday card in the shops, there is a chance that I might find a 35th, if not definitely a 40th. A 50th anniversary gets called a gold anniversary, and the silver, 25. But maybe there is a basis for our natural affinity to 5s and 10s. This. Could I accomplish the same jobs with four or six fingers on each hand? Probably, provided I'm allowed to keep these opposable thumbs. But the fact is, I've got a 10 staring at me every day. Probably the very first things I learned to count on. Indeed, this is our best guess for why the base 10 system is the one we use today. In a profound way, the human body is a base 5 or base 10 system. But there is another age we often celebrate that isn't a multiple of 5 or 10, and that was me 10 years ago, when I turned 21. It was seen as a sort of coming of age, despite the fact that biologically speaking, nothing of particular significance happens at that age. My body had already been in adult form for several years, 
and my brain, well, it still needed several more years before it would come of age. It appears that the only reason why 21 is significant is because of the law. In many countries, 21 is considered the age of majority, the point at which many rights are granted. I live in Australia now, but in Singapore where I'm from, 21 is the age that you can first get married without needing written consent from your parents. In other countries, 21 is the legal drinking age, which might actually better explain the bigger birthday celebration than anything else. So no big party this year for me, and I'm okay with that. 31 is still a pretty cool number, being the 11th prime and also a scented pentagonal number. But perhaps I can take comfort in the fact that there's something about today that's just as significant as the day I turn 30 or 21 or even one day maybe 100. And it's that even though all those numbers are arbitrary, the unit of time they're measuring isn't. We're on a giant spinning rock flying through space at a ridiculous speed right now. But today marks the 31st time that I've been in this exact spot relative to the sun. And that's a pretty cool birthday present. My name's Ming. Keep asking the right questions.